I saw that this had a weird symbol around it. I'm, I'm figuring that means something is new. Let's see what it is. Let's see if there's something new in the mod. Because I kind of want to play Skyrim again. Do a playthrough. Um. Oh, sh... Wow. It actually looks really good. Echoes of the Veil. Oh, you have to buy this, though. Like, okay, so this is made from... So they added this. Okay, I see. That's interesting. Very cool. So I'm guessing these are stuff you have to buy? Yeah, that's 200. East Empire Expansion, Winter Frost Plus Edition. Is that a gun? What is that? In inside Dwemer games, fight power from new automatons and uncover the leap in weaponry. Okay, I don't know what that is. Anti-Mage. Huh. Okay. Verified creations is what this is. <clears throat> they don't have anything else that's new for the uh, for like armors and such. No, it doesn't seem. Oh, they got elite. No, that's not new. I own it. Okay, no, it doesn't seem like they got anything new other than those few things. Which is still cool. It's amazing that they're still, like, adding to this game. It's amazing that this game is still going on. Okay. Bethesda Game Studios. Yeah, I, th I think I just went through all of it. I don't think there's... Anything else new that I could buy with just 50? No, we have any like uh new cool mods that are free. What I, I don't understand why people make the NPCs look like that. Most like this week, updated the brothers, Mirak, Niloth, Stada. Realistic and lore friendly Nord ships. Okay. The latest, so this is the newest stuff, Blood Moon. A Morrowind expansion pack. Witcher horse expansion. Location marker for what? Slower Markarth assassination for the weaklings who couldn't get it the first time. <laughs> Nordic steel armor. Can I like look at it full? No? Hopefully fix the Bart texture, the Bort texture on parts of the male circus. Okay. Carve Nordic armor and tools. It, it all looks the same except for like the red in there. Animals. 
What is that thing? Is that a Yeti? Bat. Adventure armor. <laughs> that does look kind of sick. Especially the backpack. So, okay, I can bookmark stuff now, okay? Instead of favoriting, you just bookmark, I guess. Real Artifacts of Skyrim. Spell Knight expansion. Woo! That looks okay. Looks like a Witcher armor, to be honest. Oh, okay, that's cool. They're adding color to it. The dark. Okay, I don't like the mask. That's the only thing. I don't like the mask. Bone cultist armor. Ooh! That low key looks pretty cool. So. Spell Knight armors retextured. Hinterland Ranger. What is a Hinterland? Leather tier. Shadow Ranger. Zer Hinterland robes. Radiant Hinterland robes. Let me see. I don't like the NPCs or the 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 look of the people. Like the women, look at them. <laughs> they look like anime. It doesn't belong in Skyrim. <laughs> what is this? Whoa! That armor is pretty cool though. Heavy fluted armor. <clears throat> Lakeview Manor improved. Lakeview Manor was my favorite place, really. It was like the... It was the place I did all of my work at. Um, and then well, the Whiterun one, the one that's right next to Whiterun, was the one I did, uh, I had my family at. Seems like it just made things bigger. Lakeview Manor and other general changes. First you will find an extension to the greenhouse addition by way of trap door on the far left of this room. Oh, okay. 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 Well. Khajiit Rarehouses. Player home in the reach. The dragon tomb. Dragon tomb. Enter this long forgotten tomb on the coastline of Easter Winterhold. Wander into the depths to challenge a less than living dragon. Okay, so another like labyrinth one. For real, man, those borders, bro. Yeah, the border should be manned. I, I don't understand why they don't do that. They have it at the pale. I have to remember this map because I haven't played this in a while. Okay. The Reach, Solitude, Falk Wreath, Rift, East March, Pale, White Run. Okay. I think I understand. So they have one going towards North, Winterhold. And Dawnstar. Okay. 
They have one. Why do they have one at Windhelm over there? Oh, are they like manning the? They're manning the borders on the outside. Winterhold is, it seems, and so is the Rift. The Reach is not though. Huh. East Empire. What is the East Empire expansion? Can we looking to expand their reach in Skyrim? They need your help. In addition for your help building and up the East Empire Company's presence in Skyrim, they'll provide you with powerful tools to help your adventuring. Loot delivery, such loot delivery services. Ooh, sorry. The EEC will carry your extra load out of dungeons and back to town or even back to your home. That's crazy. Sell your wares, claim dungeons in the name of EEC and receive a cut of their mining operations. What? To engage in their services, claim locations in their name, and convince the Jarls to allow them to do business. You'll witness the East Empire's presence grow as they set up outposts in the Nine Holds in Raven Rock. Eventually, those outposts will improve and grant even more services and benefits to you for helping them. Okay. Features a quest line, too. With voices. Oh my god. I am wary of strangers, but I shall hear what you have to say. Get these relics, I guess. Oh, can you like build up a little cottage of yourself? Hmm. That's cool. That would have been something cool they should have added to the game. Which, I, I mean, they just did pretty much. I mean, you have to pay what, like, ten dollars? How much? Is a credit. <laughs> okay, so I, I just looked. Ten dollars is one thousand of those credits. And then like five is five hundred. You you know the deal. You know the deal. True dragons. Is it, are they gonna be four legged? That's what it looks like in this picture. Wow, this quality. It's amazing. Russian voiced raccoon and beaver. This is the dream I've been waiting for. A good idea. I wish you success in implementing it. I'm gonna bookmark this. Beaver follower. What are they just like? What, what's the difference between them? Hmm. Huh. Core companion mod. Disclaimer, I did not create this. Hello, thank you, first of all, for reading this. Gore's passion. Gore is a passion projected for me. One that I work on by myself. He is coded, written, voiced, and worked into the game solely by me. Gore, including his add-ons such as Vigilant, has around 3,600 lines. Wow, this guy is putting some work. Um, line count is neither an indication of quality nor is it something I really care about. He has a short intro quest, then becomes a follower. You can find him at Peak Shade Tower outside the Falkery. Don't uninstall mid playthrough because I use global variables. My mod is open perms, aside from the asset, includes that I have credited the, their author for and gotten permission to use this. Gore is a child soldier, grown adult, cast off by family, never truly had following tragedy. Despite this, as you travel together, you will learn more about his history, his personality, and have the opportunity to form a lifelong bond with him. Potentially a romantic one. Oh my god. 
Depending on your choices, Gore's story is told across two main quests, a few side quests, and a conclusion that I am currently working on. Take your time, make careful choices, and help him put his torments to rest. The main focus of this mod, however, is to cover your own journey. Be that through vanilla fa faction quests, side quests, or the main quest. I also cover some mods and vigilant. <laughs> I'm Gore's Dragonborn. I just don't like the look, though. I don't like the look. It looks like an anime guy. You know? Like an animated anime. Not like anime. Like animated. <laughs> like those kid stories. <clears throat> Morningstar. That means, uh... Jake Morningstar. That means he must be a devil, right? Jake was a Nord living in Skyrim. Many years prior to the founding of Whiterun. What? He witnessed the beginnings days of Yorvaskar and was in fact friends with some of the inhabitants during Drake's travels through the land. Hmm. Okay. I'm not seeing too much. Too much interesting new stuff, but better unique backpacks. Ooh. Really? What does it do? Oh, you just get better uh, benefits. Okay. <clears throat> that seems to be the major ones. Gear. Let me see if I can go through gear real quick. Alchemic loot boxes. No pictures, of course. Snow camo armor. Mm. Yeah, that's that's definitely what you should have added in Skyrim. Uh huh. I know some people probably like that. I don't. It's fantasy for a reason. Dragon Star armor. Dragon Star armor. Okay. That. Oh, that is so. No. No, it's too colorful. Skyrim pinball. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty cool. Great Village of Kinds Grove patch. Ooh, what is this? A lawbringer faction. This file is not independent. This what? Nah, doesn't 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 give you a description. All right. Well, that might be it. I might do a playthrough. I might add some mods and then do a playthrough. Have fun with it. Thank you for watching. This has been. Skyrim mods update.